built for it, yeah, I'm built for it. Ten toes down, I don't quit, I'm built for it. What if someone could turn your trash into fuel for your car? Not in some fancy lab, not with million dollar equipment, but in their backyard using solar panel and ingenuity. This is the story of Julian Brown, a young black inventor who captured the internet's attention by doing exactly that. He turned plastic waste into diesel fuel live on camera multiple times. And then something happened that got his supporters asking questions. Let's break down what we know, what we saw, and why this story matters. Julian wasn't working at some big university. He didn't even have a corporate backing. This was a young man in Alabama building what he called a solar powered mini oil refinery by hand, all off grid. And he documented it all, going live, sharing his process, asking his followers for input. What was he doing exactly? Taking plastic waste, old water bottles, packaging, the stuff we throw away every day, and converting it into actual diesel fuel. This wasn't theory, this wasn't practice. He fired up diesel trucks with fuel he made from plastic, not once, but multiple times, in Chicago, in front of crowds, with people filming. Julian was extremely active online. Daily posts, regular live streams, constant updates on his progress. Then suddenly, the update stopped. His last few posts showed him expressing concerns about attention he was getting. But then, radio silence. No more live streams, no project updates, no responses to the flood of comments from worried supporters. His community started asking questions. Where Julian at? This ain't like him to just disappear from social media. Hope our brother is good. Now, there could be many explanations. Maybe he needed a break from social media. Maybe he's working on something bigger. Maybe he got overwhelmed by the attention. But his supporters noticed the pattern and they're concerned. Now, here's what we know for sure. Plastic waste is a massive global problem. It's in our oceans, our soil, our food chain. Communities of color are hit the hardest by pollution. Traditional recycling isn't solving the problem. Most plastic still ends up in landfills or the environment. Technologies like what Julian demonstrated could be part of the solution, turning waste into resources instead of us just managing it. Whether Julian chose to step back from social media or something else happened, his work proved the solutions can come from anywhere, including a young black man in Alabama with solar panels and determination. So where do we go from here? How do we make sure breakthrough technologies benefit our communities instead of just making other people rich? How do we protect and encourage the Julian Browns of the world? These are the questions we need to be asking. Julian Brown showed us what's possible when brilliant minds focus on solving real problems. Whether he's taking a break, working on something bigger, or dealing with challenges we don't know about, his contribution matters. The plastic is still there. The need for solutions is still there. And hopefully, the innovation continues. And if you know other black innovators working on environmental solutions like this, let us know. Their stories need to be told too.